All right, so check it out. But where did you get it from? There's like a mouse or something in my car. So I had this in my car, right? And like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's literally, look at there. There's mouse poop, and this has been nibbled on. So, I don't know how, but there's a mouse in here. You better hope you didn't eat the one he ate too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, only only a little creature would do this. Yeah. We sat down a trap right here. And the trap is underneath the seat. And as you can see, I had food on there. And as you can see, that fool's been there because you can see his poop and his like hair and stuff. The food's gone. So, I'm going to put down two traps this time. And I'm going to put food down. I don't. I don't get how this fool got in here, bro. I'm like so lost right now, but <sighs> this is crazy. So as you can see, he got the food. He was stuck on here at one point, but then he was able to wiggle himself off. So this time, I put two traps with the food all the way at the end, so he has to cross. So there's no way he's getting out of this one, but <sighs> this is crazy. My dad told me, he gave me this tip that Apparently they can't resist peanut butter, so we're gonna check right now to see if he is on the trap. And if not, we're gonna put that peanut butter. Yeah, so as you guys can see, he's not on the trap. So we're gonna put down the peanut butter. So we had the peanut butter right in the middle. We changed it, but I, he suggests that we put it in the middle. So either way, he has to cross that one and that one, so. I don't know. I guess we'll leave it here for the night. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we catch him in the morning because I'm trying to get this fool out of here before he causes any more damage. I do not need him to chew any wires or anything. It doesn't look like he went anywhere else. I feel like he's in that vent somewhere. That's my prediction. But I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so it's been about an hour. Let's see. Still nothing. Well, guess I'll come back in the morning. So every clip you guys have seen up until this point have been sporadically filmed. So to give you a backstory, last Friday we were installing a differential inside the 370Z Nismo. So I went inside my car because I wanted a snack. I reached in there and felt something was off. So I looked in there and saw that there was poop and I saw like the snack being nibbled on. So I was like, what the heck? Obviously there's like something in here that I don't know about. So then went to go inside the car and to check to see if we can find it. If we can like, I guess, rush it out or whatever. And obviously there was no luck, right? So then I put a mouse trap down that day and the very next day the mousetrap moved from right behind the seat to underneath the seat and as you guys saw like there was struggle there was mouse poop on there he even nibbled at the actual trap itself so then I put another trap down and here we are today we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see if we caught anything you guys ready nothing we caught nothing so my dad made the suggestion that it's probably not in here anymore because of the fact that it got caught and then it got loose and the fact that I haven't driven his car so it's been an ice box in here. But I can't trust that. Like these traps haven't been touched. So we're just gonna put down a different trap and we'll leave it there for like a day or two and we'll see if uh, he, uh, he kind of bites at that. I have one last idea. One last idea. Come on, come on. All right, come on. Tell me if you, uh, you smell anything. You smell something? Wash them paws, bro. No, don't eat that. You smell something? I know, this, this one right here got a nose of no other, bro. She'll sniff something out in a minute. You smell something? Go on the floor. You smell something down there? Well, apparently not. But other than this little spot right here on my seat, because I actually had something back here, I need to wet it so I can get it off of there. Other than that, my car is clean. Like, there's not food anywhere or everywhere. Like, there's not, like, random stuff. Like, I keep this car really clean. So, because of the fact that I had, like, this one little box with a little snack inside, like, that... That's crazy to me that I'm actually having this issue, but we'll, we'll get it resolved. One boy gonna have to come out of here one way or another. I have personally seen it 
so many times guys, so many times. I've personally seen it with my own two eyes how much damage a rodent can actually cause if they get inside your engine bay or even your car. I've, I've literally seen it. So that's why it's like it's a little triggering to have this full inside of here because he can literally total out the whole car. Now Ford built these cars pretty well. Like there's not random holes everywhere where things like this can get inside your car. Now where he got inside, I think he got inside when we went to Lake Tahoe because I was parked in the garage and we had the garages open at hours at a time because we had nothing to worry about. We were in the middle of the forest, right? So I think that's where he got inside. Now as to how, I have no clue. No clue at all. So as you guys saw in the last video, we actually finished the tires off on this car. I've never done this before, but we'll try it right now. <laughs> you guys been hearing me talk about needing tires on this car for the longest time. Well, here's a piece of the tire that came off actually on that tire right there. Now, when this actually came about, it was funny because we thought that we popped the tire and it was like the scariest thing in the world, but no, it was just this flapping around. So we actually had to come home and cut it off. You guys heard me say this once before. You actually heard me say it multiple times and I'll say it again. It's funny because Thanksgiving is coming up, but it's like, it's gonna be another day for me because I'm thankful each and every day. Every single day, I am thankful for the things that have in my life and I say it all the time. Even if I don't say it verbal, verbally, ver verbally, whatever. If I don't say it out loud, then you, I always think it, but I am so grateful for these cars right here. It's just a blessing, bro. Like, I can't even put it into words. I'm so grateful. Now, the ST is what built this channel, right? That was the foundation that taught me everything that I need to know today. But the Nismo won't ever leave my presence. Like, in order for that car to leave me, it would have to get totaled, honestly. We gotta go get some traps. Now, see, I tried being nice to this little homeboy in here that wanted to cause some disruption. Now it's time to go get the big guns. See, I tried being nice, but that didn't work out. So, we're gonna have to do this. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I forget how fun this car is to drive. I forget because I don't really drive this car like I used to ever since like we did the whole stand setup. Like I don't really drive this car fast like I used to, so I forget that this car does have power behind it and that it is fun to drive. It, it is true what they say low and slow now if i want to speed and like you know almost die then i hop into nismo because you know that's why we built that car for fun that's my race car <laughs> gotta love the downshifts bro that's the best part about an exhaust system the downshifts. Now, you're probably saying, dang, your neighbors must hate you. And honestly, probably. All right, let's try to figure this out. Now, we have to very slow, well, it's not actually set, so it doesn't matter how we do it. So let's see. For those of you who don't even know how to do it, we gonna figure this out together. So, how does this work? All right, I think I got it. So you put this little, they call it a kill bar, underneath this bar, but you put it ever so slightly on that little indent on this little, I don't know what you call this. So well, anyways, when they touch it, bro, that sucks. Like, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Damn, this is my first time actually using a mousetrap like this. That's crazy. <laughs> that's gonna hurt, old boy. Hopefully he's not in there. All right, so we're gonna put this right here, now we'll put it like this. And so let's go ahead and set it. So this goes like this. And this goes over it like this. And then you have to put it ever so slightly on that indent. <laughs> Just like that. It's so sketchy trying to set this because if you move wrong, bro, you take it off a finger. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, and now we wait. Every once in a while, I gotta come underneath the hood of the Nismo and using a wire brush to kind of scratch this black part off on the turbo. I told you guys before, it's because the, the turbo sits so close to the hood that I put this little, uh, what do you call this, like heat protector patch right here. And it kind of 
when it gets too hot, it kind of brushes off on the turbo. But it looks ugly like when I pop my hood and stuff, so every once in a while I kind of like to scrape it off. And even after I clean it, it kind of leaves this bald spot right here, but it's way better than a black spot, I'll tell you that. But even aside from that, I like coming underneath here to make sure everything is good, make sure everything's in order, nothing's unplugged or coming off or anything like that. But she looks good. She looks straight. Just spent the last hour washing the Nismo. I did get a chance to wash the SC, but let's check to see if we caught our friend. Nope. He still hasn't shown his presence, but I'm gonna give it like a whole day or so because last time he didn't come out to the nighttime. I will give you guys an update in the next video, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. But my toes right now are like frozen little nuggets, so I'm gonna end it here. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and stay tuned. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Fuck it up. Bad me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it, cause you all cap like.